Always when there's an addiction to anything, and I don't care if you're talking about cocaine or chocolate chip cookies, there's always an underlying reason for that abusive behavior. Always. You can spend all the time in the world trying to control your cravings or take a pill to keep you from drinking or overeating, but until you find the root cause of the problem, you will continue to have that addictive behavior. Hi, I'm Dennis Berry, best-selling author, life coach for addiction recovery and alcoholism and life mastery. I was working with this guy recently and I, I still work with him. He came to me because he was drinking too much and started smoking weed and his marriage was on the rocks. And I asked him a question. It was a specific question about his part in the problem that he was having. And he leaned forward and he started threatening me. He told me to watch my mouth. And you can't meet aggression with aggression. So rather than push back, I just kind of backed off. And I was like, you know, there's no reason for that kind of behavior. Let's talk about that question. Why did that trigger you so much? So he calmed down, he apologized. He's like, I'm out of here, we'll talk again next week. Then the next session came the following week and he came back and he apologized. And I said, okay, so let's talk about that question. And the question was, what is your role in your life's problems? Why do you keep blaming everybody and everything else for your problems and your shortcomings? So he was a pure victim. He was blaming his boss, his ex-wife, his kids, his parents. He was just a victim. He didn't want to accept any responsibility for anything. And until you can accept that you have a role in your failures, you can't change. If you keep blaming everybody else for your own misery, then you're basically saying, in order for me to be happy, you are gonna to have to change. And that's unlikely to happen. The truth is, and this is the hard, honest truth, I am responsible for all of the circumstances in my life. We all are. Let me say it again. I am responsible for all of the circumstances in my life. You're responsible for all the circumstances in your life. He's responsible for all the circumstances in his life. Until I can accept responsibility on some level for the circumstances in my life, I can't change any of the outcomes. If I keep blaming other people, places, or things for my emptiness, I'm going to continue to be unhappy and unfulfilled. So it turns out, like so many people I work with, that he was taught at a young age to suppress his feelings and his emotions. We're supposed to be tough, and if something's making us sad, we're not allowed to cry, we just have to tough it out. And if we don't understand something, you just have to figure it out on your own. Don't ask for help, that's a sign of weakness. But when we're feeling sad or angry or fearful or confused or whatever, we need to express those emotions. They need to come out somehow. Because here's the thing about that. We are going to express them in some form. If we don't feel them all the way through, they're going to get stuck in our minds and our bodies and make us sick. Then we get overwhelmed. We can't handle the pain. So we turn to drinking, drugs, shopping, porn, or whatever to make us feel better instead of learning how to process our feelings and feel them all the way through. Once we do that, those feelings that are far less painful than they otherwise would have been, and the pain doesn't last as long either. And in most cases, if we're missing this skill of processing and feeling our emotions all the way through, it's nearly impossible to learn how to do it on your own in a healthy way. You really need like a coach or a counselor like myself to help get into the subconscious mind and eradicate those behaviors and beliefs. Anyway, we ended up doing some really great work together. He opened up so much from that moment forward, which was I think about the third or fourth session in, which is usually what it takes to really break the walls down and get to the real root, the real truth of the matter with most people. And we figured out a bunch of stuff about his past that he hadn't opened up about in 30 years. And we did lots of work to figure out like the real cause of his excessive drinking. Turns out he had like 30,000 in debt, which he was hiding from his wife and not being truthful to himself about either. So we brought all of that out into the open, figure out where his money was going, turned all of that around, and he hasn't had a drink in about two years now because we got to the root of the problem. Anyway, if you connect with any of this, please reach out. Don't try to figure it all out on your own. All it does in most cases is hurt you more and for a longer period of time. I know having been sober since 2003, that it's not easy. It could be really hard at times, but you don't have to do it alone. I'm here to help. Let's just chat for a while and see if you don't feel any better. Have a great day today. I'm sending you love and good vibes.